Hi, this is the cardigan I'll be showing you how to make. It took around 11 ounces of yarn and 6 to 7 hours for this size. There's no sewing involved and very little counting, which is great because I always mess up when I'm counting. Anyway, on to the tutorial. First off, I want to just go through the pattern. So there's going to be two measurements that you'll need. The first one is from your shoulder to shoulder. And then the next one is going to be from around your shoulder down to the start of your underarm. So for me, this first measurement is around 16 inches and then this measurement is 5 inches. So the first thing that we're going to be making is the top of the back panel. And then we're going to be crocheting up to make the shoulder. And then we'll connect the shoulder to the back panel to make the armhole. So the stitch that we're going to do is essentially this square and it's going to be approximately one inch by one inch. So the first row uh, that I'm going to do is going to be 16 of these squares, so 16 stitches. And then it's going to be, so I'm not going to do five rows because we need an even number. So I could either round up or round down. So I'm going to choose to round down because I just want a tighter fitted garment. So I am going to do four rows high. So this is going to be the first back panel. So after we finish this, I'm going to do the shoulder slash neck, start of the neck area. So that's going to also match how high the back panel was. So I did four rows here, so I'm going to do four rows here. Um, this first row is going to have a little triangle here to shape the neck. And I should also mention... Um, it's 16, for me, 16 rows across, and I want to leave a space of seven to eight um, stitches where the neck is gonna be. So for me, uh, my shoulders are gonna be four on this side, four on the side, so that I have eight in the center that are left open. So um, back to the number of rows, so I'm gonna do four stitches and then this little triangle and then I'm going to make this shoulder area four rows high. And since they're even when you are crocheting, this row you'll end up over here. If you were doing five and five, what would happen is that you would end up on this side and then um, you would have to cut the yarn and then connect, which isn't the biggest deal. So if you really wanted to, you could, but I'm gonna just stick with the even. Um, so then after we do this, what the garment is gonna look like is something like, and we're going to connect the front to the back with a chain. So I am going to do a chain of three because I'm rounding down. If you're rounding up, you might want to do a chain of two, so two to three. And then you could try it on, make sure it fits. If it doesn't, if this is too tight or too loose, that's this is the best time to adjust. And then from there, we're just going to, um, we have the armhole and we're just going to keep doing rows for the arm and increase down here to get the bell sleeve finish that do the other side make the other arm and then reconnect the yarn here and at row five um, we're gonna start doing triangles in the center to shape the neckline and so since I'm doing four I don't have to do those triangles just yet but you might have to so I'll show you how to do that and then row six will also have this shaping and same with row seven 
Um, and then after that, it's just squares all the way down. And we're just working back and forth throughout the whole garment. And that's it. I'm using worsted weight yarn and a 5.5 millimeter hook. So first thing, just tie a slip knot and you're going to chain one, but it's going to be, you're going to pull the yarn through to create this really long chain. You're going to yarn over, pull that through while holding on to the this piece of yarn. And then you're going to put your hook under there, pull the yarn through, yarn over again, and then pull that through. And that's the stitch that we're going to be doing pretty much throughout this whole thing. So I'm going to be making 16 of these stitches. Um, the other thing to know is that you want to try to make it around an inch because that's how we're measuring everything. Um, it's kind of like your thumb <laughs> uh, or the top, top of your thumb. Um, anyway, I'll show you again. So now you pull more yarn and then you yarn over, you hold on to this piece of yarn, pull the yarn through, and then go under that piece you're holding, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through again. One more time, yarn over, hold on to the string. All right, so we're gonna do, I'm gonna do 16 of these um, stitches. All right, so I finished 16 of the stitches. If you want, you could hold this strand up to um, your back. So hold it between your shoulders to see if it fits. It's probably going to be a little bit longer, I would think, just because it's so stretchy. Alright, so I finished 16 and now we're going to make one of those squares. So to do that, you have to chain two more of these stitches. So I'm going to do that right now. So one, two. Alright, so now we're going to so you could see what's happening here. I'm going to connect this area here to this area here to form that square. So this part is kind of tricky. There's a lot of different places where you could kind of stick the hook into on these stitches. I feel like the easiest place is like, there's like a loop here that forms so there's this stitch and then there's this loop that kind of sticks up on all of them so for me that's the easiest place to put my hook so i'm gonna put my hook into that loop and to be honest i don't think it matters like too much where you place it but um yeah and i'm not super neat but if you are then you know it, there might be a better place. <laughs> um, so you're going to put your hook into the stitch and then you're going to pull up or yarn over and then pull up. So now you're going to have this loop and then this yarn here and you're going to yarn over again, pull through the first loop while holding on to that uh, yarn, go under uh, yarn over and pull through so you'll have three loops on the hook yarn over again and then pull through all three loops so you'll end up with this so I'm going to show you that again so pull the chain uh, you're going to actually let me show that so now you have a square and you're going to make another one of the stitches here and then you're going to connect them together to just make a square 
So I'm going to make one of the same stitches that we've been doing. And now I'm going to connect it. So I see that loop here. So I'm going to put my hook there and then yarn over, pull through, yarn over, hold on to this piece of yarn, pull the yarn through the first loop, go under the piece of yarn that you're holding, yarn over, three loops should be on the hook, yarn over and then pull through all three loops. So now, there are two squares and just going to repeat the process all the way through. Okay, so done with my first row. So we're gonna turn our work and before we get started making the squares, we're just going to do one normal chain stitch and then pull up and we're going to do two of the long stitches that we've been doing and these are the sides of the square and you're just gonna put it into this area so it's much easier than that first row and you're just gonna keep making the stitches until the end of the row and i will be doing four rows um, just completing this last square and then I'm gonna turn my work and I'm going to chain one and then just continue like I did for the previous row. I finished my four rows and it looks really pretty. And now I'm going to do the first shoulder and um, I'm going to do four up to four stitches and then going to do a little triangle. So there'll be four on this side, four on this side, and then for me, eight in the middle. For you, it might be seven if you have like an odd number. All right, so I will show you how to do that little triangle. So I'm going to do four boxes. So I'm done with the four stitches and you can see if I just left it like this, it would be like a sharp corner. So we want to connect this point to this point. So you're going to uh, hold on to this stitch because it's gonna, it might move. So hold on here and then you're gonna take your hook, uh, put it under this stitch, yarn over, and now we're just going to do the same stitch that we've been doing. And ta-da! So we got a little, a little triangle there and it's just gonna make it smooth. So this is my first row of the shoulder area, uh, shoulder slash neck area. So I'm gonna be doing four of these rows. So I'm just gonna do one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, um, and then I'll meet you back. Okay, so I finished my four rows, so one, two, three, four. If you actually need to do six or eight rows, I'm going to show you how that works. So I'm going to do row number five and row number six to demonstrate if that's what you need to do. And then I'll show it again for, um, or later in the video for anyone who is a uh, four row or stopping at four rows like I am. So this is going to be row number five and row number five, six, and seven are going to have those little triangles near the neck part. So that's going to help shape the neck.
Okay, so this is row number five, but I want to make a little triangle thing here. So I'm going to do one more stitch. All right, and then I'm just going to connect it to this part. So there is an opening right there. So I'm going to put my hook in and just pull up, make the stitch. And there we go. It's like a little triangle. It's a little wonky, but it'll work. And now we're going to make another triangle for row number six. So I'm going to make two stitches for the next triangle. Okay, and now, so the triangle is going to be here, so I'm going to pull or connect this part to this part to make the triangle. So you could just put um, your hook in this part right here, and connect the points, and we have another triangle piece and then you would um, just keep working that way. So rows number uh, five, six, and seven have this triangle at the center front. And I just want to show you what the next shaping will look like so you get this nice curve with these cool triangles. So I've finished the four rows for my shoulder uh, slash start of the neck area. So now I'm going to chain three stitches and then connect these parts together. So I'm doing three uh, instead of two because I rounded down when I was taking my like measurement so if I do two it might be a little bit tight for me so I'm going to do three stitches to connect the arms together or to create the armhole so one two three and then I'm just going to slip stitch them together and then chain one and pull to secure. So now we have this armhole and I am going to try this on to make sure that it fits me and it's not too tight or too loose. So I wore it and it's snug for me, it's not loose and I wanted something that was form fitted. Alright, so now I'm going to oops, I'm gonna chain two of the long stitches to make my first square. And then in this stitch uh, you could just put your hook into this space. So I'll show you on the next stitch what that will look like because they're they're not all the same so since we're chaining into the edge of the garment uh, these spaces are all gonna alternate depending on whether it was where we turned our work or we were chaining up so this one's easy this one you can kind of see there's like two pieces so there's one knot down here one up here so what we're gonna do is we're going to just take a piece uh put our hook into part of the knot on the bottom and then put our hook into part of the knot on the top and then yarn over and pull through both 
So that'll kind of connect them to just make it look a little bit neater, even though it's still not super neat. So that's how that looks. And then we're gonna just keep doing this around. So this one is the one where you could just put your hook into that space. And then the next one is going to be where you kind of have to connect two pieces. So here again, there are two pieces. Put your hook into a piece on the bottom knot and then on the top knot, yarn over, pull through both. And then complete that square. So I'm going to do that around and get back to the start and then just join the work. So now I'm going to just continue the rows of the arms. So this is our first row that we finished and I'm going to do around 12 rows. So I'm trying to get down to two inches below the elbow and once you get there we're going to do some increases to create the bell sleeve. So I ended up doing 14 rows for the arm and right now it's at around two inches below my elbow. So now I'm going to start my next row, my 15th row, and this is where I'm going to place the increases and you want to place your increases in the underarm area. So here's where the underarm is. So I want to place my increases around here and that will give more fullness on this side so you'll get that bell curve uh, shape for the sleeve. So I am going to place the increases in these stitches here. So I actually have to go around the arm to get back there. So I'm going to do that now. So I'm going to start this row and then I'll show you the increases. Okay, so I'm almost back to the beginning of my row. So there's three more stitches I would have to do. So I'm going to just finish this stitch here and then I'll have two stitches left between where I'm at and the start of the row. Alright, so we have these two stitches and this, these are the stitches I'm going to place my increases in. So uh, regardless of the size, you'll be doing two stitch or two increases. So essentially I'm just going to cut these squares in half. So instead of pulling up your normal amount, you're going to pull up a little less and then make your stitch. And then instead of um, putting your hook into this area here, you're going to cut this stitch in half. So you just kind of hold it, yarn over, pull through while holding it in half, yarn over again and do essentially like a chain one or a slip stitch and then pull up. So it looks like this and then do the standard stitch. All right, so you see how it's kind of cut in half and then pull up, but again, not as much as you normally would. And then now you go into this area. And now again, we'll do the same thing here. So I'm going to cut this in half. So go into the center, hold it together, yarn over, pull through, yarn over again, pull through, and then do the standard stitch. And now I'm going to join the round to complete the row. So as you could see, 
this these are the increases so we have two increases now in the next row we're just going to go straight around with no increases but then in the row after that we would place uh, increases in the same area so for me it would be the two stitches right before I join the round so I'm going to do the next round So I'm reaching the area on this next round where the increases are and you're not going to do anything differently, you're just going to treat them the same. So you're not going to shorten the stitch length or anything like that. So then this is what the increase will look like. And you can kind of start to see it taking shape. Yeah, there's a start to, it's gonna to start to increase here. All right, so now the next row, so the row we just completed didn't have any increases. So now in this next row, I'm gonna place my increases in these two stitches again. So it's the two stitches right before you're joining the round. So I finished that row, so we have the increase row, no increase, increase row. Um, and this is what the sleeve is starting to look like. So again, it's just that same pattern, so you're going to keep doing that. And then I'll meet you back. So I finished eight rows of that alternating pattern of the two increases and then a row with no increase. So this row that I'm on, I, that I just finished, has no increases. Um, and you want to end on a row with no increases, or you want your last row to have no increases so that when we do the edge, it makes it easier. So I want to do one more row to get to the length of my arm. So instead of my next row being a row with increases, I'm just going to do uh, another row without any increases and then I'll do the edge. So this is my last row on the arm and I'm going to close it off. So let's see, I'm just going to stick my hook in there, do a slip stitch, and then I'm going to chain two. So this is going to be like our first half double crochet, so I'm going to be doing half double crochets around as a um, edge. So you're going to yarn over and then you're going to go under um, all of these pieces of yarn, yarn over, so you're going to have three um, loops on your hook, yarn over and then just pull through all three. So I'm going to do four more of those in this large, uh, in the square area. So that's three, so one, two, three, four, five. And now I'm going to do two half double crochets in this smaller area in between the squares. You could do one if you want. So since I'm doing two in this area, the um, the edge is going to be a little curly, which is what I want. If you do one, it's just going to be a more flat edge. So now I'm going to do five, or five half double crochets and one, and then two in the smaller area. One, two, so you can see it's curling, um, and then I'm just going to do that around and then finish off, um, join the round with a slip stitch, and that's it. We'll be done with our first arm. And then that's it. The first arm is done. So now we have to do the second arm. Okay, so to do the second arm, we're just gonna 
take our yarn and we're gonna join it to the corner and we're just going to again do the shoulder area so exactly what you did on the other side you would do here oh and don't forget to do the little triangle piece right here so that's where you just kind of join this part So you get that little triangle. I finished both sleeves finally and now I'm going to restart on row so mine is row five yours might be a different row depending on how long uh, you were making this part so I'm gonna connect the yarn here and I have to make a little triangle so I'll do that now Okay, so I have my collar here and I'm gonna attach my yarn. I'm gonna attach it to this side because I work this way. So that's gonna make it easier for me, so. Okay, so now I'm gonna start my fifth row and I'm gonna make a little triangle piece here. So to do that, I'm going to do two of these longer chains and then connect them together here so it's not going to be a square it's going to be a triangle okay so a little triangle and then I'm just going to make the square standard square stitch all the way around. I also wanted to show how to do things when you get to the armhole. You just, you continue working into the stitches. Uh, it's going to be those two or three stitches that you use to connect the front to the back. So you just kind of find a place to attach the stitch so there's a pretty decent place right there all right so now i'm at the back so as you can see, the, these places look a little different. So I'm just going to stick uh, my hook in this hole here. So it's the same uh, place where we uh, chained when we were doing the first row. So that'll just make it easier. And there will be a sort of difference. You can tell that um, it, it's almost like a seam, but it's very, it's not super obvious. So I'm going to continue working all the way back to the front, and then I'm going to do a triangle at the end of this row, and I'll show that again. And if you are on, let's say, row 9 or something like that, uh, because of your arm size, you could just continue doing squares if you've already done the triangle part for the neck shaping. Alright, so I'm almost back to the start. I did the row all the way around. Uh, just one thing when you're working with this, it's really easy to get confused what's up, down, left, right. So if something looks wrong, just make sure you are crocheting in the right direction. Um, so I'm going to do this last square stitch on the, on the, the neck part. And then I am going to do a little triangle, so I'm going to connect this here. So 
so okay done with the square and now I'm gonna make a triangle so I'm gonna do one stitch here and then stitch up that way so one stitch and then connect it here So that's how row number five is looking. So here is row number five. And now row number six, again, I'm gonna start with a triangle, go around, finish with a triangle. So again, to do that, we're going to chain two, And then I'm going to connect this part to this part. So I'm going to turn my work. So you got triangle here, triangle here, and then continue on with the squares. So I'm at the end of row six here, and then this is the triangle we created at the start of row five. So I'm going to make another square on top of this triangle, and then end this row with the triangle as well, so that we're shaping the neck inward towards the center. So square, and then we're gonna do the triangle, so chain, and then connect this to this. So I'm just gonna put my hook there, pull up. Alright, so triangle, triangle, and now I'm going to start row seven so I'm going to start with another triangle go away go all the way around and then end with the triangle and then row eight for me is just going to be squares so no more triangle stuff so for this triangle I'm going to connect it here so I'm going to turn my work around and just So triangle, 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 squares end with a triangle. All right, so I'm almost at the end, so I'm making my last square and then my last triangle. Now triangle piece. So I'm chaining one and then connecting it here to here. So this would be a good time to try on the cardigan and see if you would like to create another row with these triangles to shape it in further. Like if for you it's far apart and you don't want to start just making straight front panel or straight panels, um, you could do a couple more rows in the same way or just go straight into the squares, which is what I'm going to do since it, it'll fit me as it is. So for that, it's just the same thing. You're just going to keep making squares all the way around until you reach the length you desire. And that's pretty much it wanted to show so this was the last triangle and then this is a square so that's what I'm gonna be doing all the way around so I'm almost done I did 14 rows after row number seven to get to the length 
that I want, but of course you could do more or less depending on how long you want it. And now I'm going to do an edge for the bottom, and I think I'll also do an edge all the way around. For the bottom edge, I'm going to do pretty much the same thing as I did for the cuff. Uh, so I'm going to chain two here, and then I'm going to do four half double crochets in the long part, and then just one in the shorter part. So it's a little different from the cuff, and that's just because I don't want it to be as curly as the cuff. So that first chain two counts as the first half double crochet. So one, two, three, one more, four, and then I'm going to do one in this area here. And then it's just the same pattern all the way around the bottom edge. I'm almost at the end of the hem, so I'm just going to do my final half double crochet into this stitch at the corner of the hem. And now I'm going to continue an edge all the way around the center and uh, up the neckline. So instead of a half double crochet, I'm just going to do a single crochet uh, so it's just not as thick. So I'm going to do five into each of these longer uh, stitches and then since this is the edge, there's no... some of these uh, areas, they don't have a smaller area to stitch into. So that's why I'm just going to do five uh, into the longer square. So I did two, three, four, five, and then I'm just going to skip to this area. I was doing the five single crochets in every space, and then when I got to the triangles, um, that space is smaller, so I started doing only three single crochets in every space from here, this triangle down here, up to the triangle that was by the collar. So that helped to curve the collar. And then when I got to the back, since the pattern um, changes and you have a big space and a small space, I started doing four single crochets in the big space and then one in the small space and then repeating that pattern. So I'll repeat that till I get to the triangle space on this side and then do three single crochets in every space until I get down here and then I'll continue just doing five in every space all the way down. So I didn't get a chance to record doing the straps but what I ended up doing was I just continued chaining like I think 120 chains around at the bottom corner and then I attached yarn at the other bottom corner and did the same thing and that's because I wanted to wear it in two different ways so I wanted to be able to wrap it around and then pull the cord and just tie it like that and then I figured the other way, so instead of doing another chain here, I'm just going to like kind of pull it up and then wrap it around here, do the same, and then just tie it that way. I just wanted to show you how the back looks when you tie it around and I'm just really happy with how it turned out. I feel like Dolly Parton or something like that. And anyway, thanks for watching and let me know if you have any questions. Bye!